Welcome, everyone. Thanks for tuning in to our Facebook page today. You all have obviously heard the president's announcement, the governor's announcement uh, to take this coronavirus very seriously. And we have been uh, taking precautions around the church. We had a great worship service last Sunday with three people being baptized, a young adult and, a, and a two teenagers. And we had about 80 people less than normal, and that was okay. We've been encouraging people. We know our people are smart enough to know that if they're at risk, they should stay home, or if they're sick, they should stay home. And we've been sanitizing and doing all that stuff around the church to make sure everybody was safe as possible here. However, when the President of the United States comes on and the governor comes on and requests that we suspend public meetings, we take that seriously. You know the Bible tells us that this, in the scripture that, that uh, the government is given to us for our protection and they have a purpose. And so we're going to comply to the request to not have public gatherings and ministry meetings for the next 15 days. That means we're going to miss two Sundays and two Wednesdays uh, coming up soon. So I want to make sure you're aware of that. However, I also want to say this to our elderly, to our shut-ins, we're still here to serve you. Our staff is going to be here at the church. We're going to be available to you. If you need someone to run to the store for you because you're afraid to get out, you don't have family members to help you with that, we will do that for you. Just give us a call. Call our, our church office or call our cell phones, and we'll be happy to help you with that as much as we are possibly able to, okay? We really want to be a uh, minister to you in this time. Also, let me share with you that it's very important that... Uh, you understand that um, we're also looking at other ways to minister to our community. And as we do that, please look at our Facebook site. And again, we will give opportunities for us to serve. Be aware of your neighbors, your friends, your relatives, the people you minister to. And uh, reach out to them, please. I think this is a time where we can really demonstrate the love of Christ. Listen, we as a staff are here to help. And I want you to know that. And I'd like to ask us to hear from Jason a little bit and Joe a little bit as uh, we continue on talking with you here in just a moment. Jason has a few words to say. You know, I was reading in Philippians this morning about learning uh, to be content, whether we are in want, need, or whether we have everything we need. And um, it reminded me that even in these times that our contentment and joy comes from Christ. So I want to encourage our body of Christ uh, to use this time and these uh, conversations that you have with friends and neighbors or even over text or on Facebook here to find ways to encourage people and talk about Christ. I have always found that in times of uh, distress or trial, people are always willing to hear about eternal things because they're thinking about eternity. And so one of the ways that we can honor Christ and one of the ways we can love others is by using our words to build up and encourage people uh, during this time. For our students, uh, my, my challenge to you is the same that I gave you on Sunday. Use the opportunity, this opportunity to bless your family, be an encouragement to your friends, to one another. Look to Christ, and uh, don't worry, we'll be back here shortly uh, doing things here at the church. And I look forward to hearing about the way God uses you in your homes and with your friends. That's Pastor Jason. Pastor Joe. Okay, I just want to say a few words to our kids that as we are not having activities and not at the church for different ministries, listen, you're going to be at home with your parents, and you already are. Have fun. Spend some family time with them. Try not to aggravate your brothers and sisters and get along with everybody. Be patient and use this time to read your Bible at home and also pray for all your friends and pray for your family and pray for those people that are sick with this virus, that they would be healed. And pray for God that he would keep you from this. And also, just a word to uh, our parents and our guardians. Use this time as an opportunity to share the gospel with your kids at home. Do family devotions with them. Pray with your kids. And if they're concerned about different things, uh, just bring them back to the Bible and show them that they can trust God and not worry about what's going on around, but put their trust in Christ. And uh, we'll see you soon. Yes. Listen, thank you for tuning in here. And just to wrap up real quickly, I know we are going to be broadcasting again March 22nd, March 29th, probably around 10 o'clock 
on Sunday, you'll be able to participate in a worship service online. If you'd like to do that, would encourage you to do that. Some of our folks are very concerned. I'm not going to be able to give. I'm not going to be able to, to uh, give my tithe uh, while we're off. Uh, there's a couple options. Obviously, you can hold on to that and then give two or three tithes next time we meet, meet in April. And uh, that's one possibility. Another possibility is we have a new app you can find online. And uh, that uh, that's also been posted on our, our uh, Facebook site. You can find it there, a way to get that new app. You can give through that app. You can also give online by going to www.gotofbc.com. That's our church website. And you can click the donation tab and it'll show you how to do that. Listen, let's have a quick prayer and uh, just just we'll just trust the Lord through this and look forward to meeting you again very soon. First Sunday of April. OK, and uh, we'll go from there. Let's pray. Father, thank you so much for the opportunity to gather here and to speak to our, our uh, church audience here. Please bless our folks. Keep them under your under your protective hedge, Lord. Keep them from evil. Keep them from harm. Keep them from this this uh contagion right now. Lord, keep them from this virus. I pray, Lord, that you'll cover them with your care and your love. And I pray, Father, that in this time we will be faithful to you, to minister to our neighbors and our friends and our relatives, people we, we serve here at the church. And Lord, we will also uh, be anticipating the opportunities you might give us as people are in crisis. We can give them the hope of the Lord Jesus Christ and how he loved us so much. He died on a cross to save us from our sins. Lord, help us to be faithful to share that message in this time of crisis. We love you and thank you for this opportunity. In Jesus' name, amen. God bless you. We'll see you next time.